look after them. Very good. Uh, Aaron Gilmore. Speaker, it's a pleasure to stand and support the uh, Student Loan Scheme Bill. And Mr Speaker, I just want to uh, start off with that prior speaker uh, and commenting on the speech of Sir Roger Douglas. I actually agree with everything Sir Roger said. Join the Mr Speaker, Mr. Sir Roger pointed out in many situations around one of the problems that we had with the student loan system is the ability of those poor people out there. I grew up in a state house and the ability, but I didn't have a situation where no one paid for my education. But you turn around and you say, well, $100 a year put off the situation where you don't get your student loan and will not go to tertiary education. It won't, Mr Speaker. But what it will mean, Mr Speaker, is that the butcher in Otara, the factory worker in Aranui, won't pay for the lawyer in Fendleton. And Mr Speaker, I think that's a good thing. And so does this gov- John Key-led government. You see, Mr Speaker, this bill, what it's all about, is simplifying the student loan system to make it easier for those people to pay and keep a, a, a tabs on how much they owe and how much they are paying back, Mr Speaker. And I think that's a good thing. In the first reading of the bill, I actually spoke about my own personal experiences around that and the ability of a $12,000 student loan and, and having the ability, if you're, if you're paper-based systems, it took months to get records back and forth. And this sort of thing removes that. Many of my friends now live overseas, my own university class, I think there's only three of 14 of the graduating class are still in New Zealand. And those have all paid their student loans, Mr Speaker, but they all spoke of their experiences in paying their student loans back in terms of the, 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 the annoyance in getting back paper systems back and forth with home addresses. And that caused a lot of problems with them, and this bill will go to solve that. Mr Speaker, no one's actually spoke uh, on the SOP really that's in this bill, and I think it's beholden of us, given that came after the first reading, to quickly touch on that. The SOP is, I think, a very good one, brought forth by the Minister. The SOP means that those, part, those people who do not actually operate within the rules of the student loan scheme, their loans can actually be recalled. And there have been some instances, particularly for those overseas borrowers who exit New Zealand with no intention to ever pay back their loan or operate within the rules of the student loan scheme. And those people, that's SOP that's been brought in place, strengthens the power of the revenue authority to be able to take those loans and recall them back. And those people have to pay them back, Mr Speaker. And that's a good step in the right direction, Mr Speaker. I think finally, Mr Speaker, we will look forward to this this, um, bill when it's passed, uh, hopefully in the next few days when we have a situation where in in years to come we'll look back and sort of see that the National John Key-led government will be spending more money on tertiary education than any other government that's happened before. And you'll see that this administration fee we've brought in place will only do one thing, Mr Speaker. It'll change the incentives so that people pay towards their cost of administrating the student loan scheme, and that's fairer than we have today. Thank you. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Party votes called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes in favour. Green Party. 9 votes opposed. Action New Zealand. 5 in favour. Māori Party. 4 votes in favour. Progressive. One vote in favour. United Future. One vote in favour. Mana. Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 110, the noes are 10. The motion is agreed to. Student Loan Scheme Bill, second reading. This bill is set down for committee stage forthwith. I declare the House in committee for consideration of the Student Loan Scheme Bill. Mr Chairman. Mr Speaker, 